This purchase includes a fully rigged character with around 15 custom medicine related 3D assets with 40 plus custom poses with and without these assets. And the renders are super duper quick, around 12 seconds in cycles and nine seconds in EV. This is the overview part of this product. You can check out the timestamps in the description to just go to the parts that you care about. So if you care about the rig or the posing or the wireframe or whatever, just check out the timestamps in the description. And of course, you can also check out the purchase link in the description as well if you're interested. So this character works with the latest Blender 3.3. So just go on blender.org under downloads, you'll be able to get Blender 3.3 and it should work without any issues. You can also use Blender 3.2 or 3.1, but keep in mind that the poses will look different because in Blender 3.0, there's a different type of posing system and this Blender 3.3 has a new posing system. So just keep that in mind. You can see here pose library legacy. It's still going to work in your old Blender version. You're just going to click this, but just keep in mind that it might break in a newer version. So just, yeah, just use the latest Blender version. This is the checking out the rig part of the video. Um, yeah, the rig is super duper cool. Everything is rigged, even the cetoscope. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but even this is rigged. So you can do a bunch of cool things in case you want to, I don't know. You can even use the pen if you want. Uh, the facial rig is pretty cool as well. You can see the mouth moves great. The eyes close very well. Um, we can look around, we can do stuff like this. We can uh, also move the legs. Uh, also this if we want to. Um, yeah, the rig is super duper cool. You can check out the timestamps if you want where I create a custom pose there you'll be able to see more about the rig, but that's it about the rigging. Now we're at the how to change poses part of the video. This is a fairly important part. So uh, yeah, just pay attention if you care. Uh, it's fairly simple. You go select the rig. You can see it's currently orange. Just go to the top left and click pose mode and you will have, and you will see this thing appear. If it doesn't just press N and it should appear. If it's something like this, just go down to animations and there you'll be able to change poses uh, quite easily. Just click on what you want and you'll see the pose that you want. In case you change poses and nothing happens like this, you have to make sure nothing is selected. So you can see here I'm pressing G and I don't move anything. But if I have this square selected and I move around and press G, you can see I have a rig layer selected. So just make sure nothing is selected and then change poses and that way it won't break. If you see again, I'll select it and it's going to break. Just make sure you have nothing selected while changing poses. Uh, exporting renders, fairly simple stuff. Just go to the top left corner, click render image, wait the very short amount of 12 seconds in my case to have the render. Maybe in your case, it will be longer. Just play around with the sample rates and the resolution and yeah, just play around with, with what you need. But basically, once the image is rendered, just go to the top left under image and click on save as and then just save it wherever you want. Fairly basic stuff. Now we're at the creating a custom pose part of the video. So the first thing we'll do is go in our pose mode under top left and pose mode and we'll go into T-pose. There's a default T-pose with assets and without. So without assets and with assets. Um, we'll create the pose with assets. So let's do that. 
in our pose, we will have this object. So all the other objects we're going to select by this bone and just move down. So they're not visible in the camera. Uh, OK, cool. OK, now we have our object and our pose. Um, let's move our object like this. Um, and he's going to hold it with his hands. So let's rotate him around with R. We can move the camera later. Let's not worry about that right now. But um, I'll show you how to do that as well. Just do like this, move it like this. We'll actually go to the item section and have more wrigglers visible. Um, let's be like that. And maybe he holds it with his leg. Weird pose, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm not going to waste too much time in creating these, but you, of course, sp should spend more time in creating your custom poses. R to rotate, R, R, X on X axis, and then you press it again to have this different perspective. So R, Z, and R, Z, Z again is going to change. You can see it flips. Okay, that's cool. The pose looks really bad. But again, we're just making this <laughs> quickly. You should spend more thought process on your poses. Now we want to also move the camera. So just go right camera in the search bar or just go under lights and just enable lights and you'll see. And yeah, so I have to go into object mode, of course. Just have the camera move it a tiny bit like this. We're not going to do it in this case, but you just move it and release it. Um, yeah, let's go back in pose mode and actually save our custom pose. Um, now you have created your custom pose and you want to save it. It's fairly basic stuff, but make sure you're paying attention because it is important. So let's make sure first nothing is selected and then we'll go into our animations layer. So again, I'm pressing G and nothing is selected. It have, if I have something selected and I press G, you can see it moves. So just make sure nothing is selected and just make sure with G that nothing is selected. And now let's just click on create pose asset. Oh, we actually have to select everything. Sorry about that. You have to click A and select everything. And then you click on create pose asset. And then on the top, uh, bottom left corner, you have post pose name. We'll call it holding pills. And press enter and you will see at the bottom it's going to be saved. To make sure it's saved, um, just go in pose mode again. Make sure nothing is selected and just switch through poses. And then click on our custom holding pills pose and you can see it's saved. And we have our library of our custom poses. So that's awesome. Um, and that's about it. If you enjoyed this product, you can check out the description and buy it and do whatever you want. So have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.